Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another Deadman Mode video. And in the last video, we ended up getting a ton of 99s on the account. And in this video, I'm going to be working towards basically achieving a max cape in Deadman Mode. I know Deadman Mode gets deleted in like a week or so, but you know what? I want to flex the max cape in the 1v1s. So that's what I'm going for. It shouldn't take me too long. It should take me maybe like 20 hours to get all the 99s done. So that being said, let's stop procrastinating and let's get right into it. Enjoy the video. All right, the first level of the video is going to be 96 smithing. I think I maybe have enough bars for 97. They're fairly expensive, fairly slow to buy. So I'm just kind of buying them over time at this point. But it's one of the skills that is very, very fast to do. I'm making a little bit of adamant dart tips because all the bolts I've been making, they kind of stopped selling. So we're going to attempt a little bit of those and see if those sell any better. 97, 98. Let's start with a little bit of construction training. I'm starting on 77. Let's see where we end up on. I think I have about a thousand planks 800 oaks 200 mahoganies let's see where we get to up to 80 construction all right with construction training i'm actually able to afford the pretty decent pool also please don't mind my screen it is a little bit different when i train construction it just makes everything a lot easier but here is the very first pool of restoration if i upgrade it i can create a stamina pool and then if i upgrade it one more time i can create a prayer pool and that's all i need for now that's gonna come in handy later when i'm training room crafting more about that when we actually reach that point but I don't think I'll be adding a ton more updates to my house because I simply don't really need it but this is a pretty crucial and uh, needed one all right so this should be the final upgrade of the pool don't think I'll be upgrading this any further and then I can also build another portal room here another portal chamber rip 100k and then I'll build this center piece and then I'll build this portal pieces this is the one I wanted Archaeus library perfect put this right over here so I'll be able to come right in drink this for a stamina restore and then go right into Archaeus library I'll fill this up later on when I feel like it for now I'll just build them and that's basically my house fully completed to what I wanted now let's get more construction levels that is 85 construction very cool I'm actually gonna change to fixed and see how it looks I guess it's fine up to 90 construction already I think I'm kind of running out of plank soon I would assume I'm not ex exactly sure but yeah probably out soon if not out of planks I actually just noticed I'm definitely out of cash so we're gonna call it here for construction we'll finish this off later uh, for now I do think my trees are grown so I can get some easy farming levels well only my trees are grown but not my fruit trees as well so let's go ahead and uh, do that I guess Let's start it off nicely with 94 farming. Very cool. Here's another one up to 95. And this will be 96. I do believe tomorrow when I wake up when all the trees are basically done, it might be enough for 99. So basically that is now sorted. What do I want to move on to right now? Um, I'll leave the hunter for late. I'll leave rune crafting for late. What are even my options? Herb lore. Yeah, let's do some herb. Pretty big one over here. I'm doing some super combat pots. I don't know if I'll make money lose money i'm just making them all by myself right now but there's 19 herb very very cool this is also extremely useful when it comes to the obvious raids right i think after max i'll probably look to do some raids maybe snag in some max items we'll see what we end up doing with that but happy with 90 herb ladies and gentlemen remember when i bought sigil of freedoms for about three coins each they now go for 200k a piece and uh you know i thought they were fairly cheap so i bought 15 of them <laughs> well, so with that being said, let's just keep one or two. You know what? Let's keep two. And let's just... <laughs> <laughs> let's just sell a bunch of them for 200k. Hey, no worries, man. No. Sad. I only sold one. Sold another one for Insta price, 150k right there. So let's just, let's just sell a bunch of them for 150k then. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with free 1.8 million dead men. Uh, let's sell like two less though, just in case. <laughs> 1.3 mil oh my god this is stupid <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> all right, it is time to cash out all of the last emblems that I have on my DMMV2 account. It's gonna be like 50 extra, and all I'm really gonna buy is antidotes. I'll buy enough antidotes to the point where I can actually afford 99 Herblur. Let's see if I get killed. I hope I don't. I'll camp melee all the way throughout. Let's get at it. Is this guy gonna hit me? Probably, right? He should. I think he just hopped. We'll see how it goes. Okay. 
<laughs> this guy's funny. I'm over here supplying big airs with, with with Bruce just cuz you know I have enough points to give the, to, to give Bruce to everyone man. <laughs> <laughs> ICBA, what am I doing, man? This deadman mode, I have enough stuff for literally anything, so we good. Up to 93, 95 Herbler, almost out of all the potions, but I think I'll just be using these Thor stalls with all these anti-venoms I'm doing to just lose a lot of money, but also gain a ton of XP. That is 97 Herblor, and now I'm gonna go to sleep, put some offers in, so I get enough supplies to finish this in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Here is 99 Herblor, beautiful. Look at these stats, they are coming together so nicely. I'm gonna do a farm run now, and hopefully get enough to 99 farming. Maybe it's gonna be 98, I don't really know. And then I guess we move on to smithing, but this is starting to look really, really beautiful. That's 97 farming, a couple of trees died, so I think I'll have to wait another day. Day. That should be 98. There it is, 98. Beautiful. This is the last tree. I'll be like 500k off, so I can probably just do a regular tree run in a couple of hours, I'm thinking, and we'll be fine. Decided to do a little bit of mining. There is level 94, and this is probably a fairly annoying one. I can get up to like 2.3 mil XP an hour. In the previous video, I mentioned how I messed up by getting Infernal Pickaxe, because I actually get less mining XP an hour, and it isn't boosted for smithing XP, so it's a complete waste also i don't have a ring so let me grab that um but yeah i'll be grinding this for a little bit maybe till like 95 then we might move on to something else there it is 95 mining four more levels to go 2150 total as well sick wait for it 96 there it is boom 97 mining nice ladies and gentlemen 98 mining one more level to go i actually went through with it for a couple of hours i've been clicking these rocks and here we go it's almost i can almost feel it it's almost in my hands. And there it is. 99 mining. Oh my god, this took forever. This actually took took forever, even with the increased XP rates. But I'm very happy to have it done. Let's move on to another skill. Alright, let's do a little bit of construction. 91 to begin with. Ladies and gentlemen, 95 construction. And I think all my trees are ready. And I can actually go ahead and finish 99 farming very, very soon. But I guess I can do the rest of construction whilst I have the planks. I can't possibly have a lot more... Um, planks right oh yeah i was just saying that there we go we're out of planks let's go ahead and do our 99 farming i see a healthy tree here we go there it is another 99 on the deadman mode server beautiful the whole right side is looking really nice minus this little smithing situation and basically yeah construction to go right yeah construction smithing to go and then these two i'm leaving these two till the very end uh very quickly i'm waiting for this magic tree to 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 become a sapling and i will actually plant that because uh i I want to have a magic tree here once i'm maxed if i feel like it i can chop some trees maybe look for a pet you know to have in the 1v1s or maybe just make some afk cash from magic logs we'll see what we end up doing with that but happy to have another 99 out of the way this is what it came down to there is literally no bars left on the grand exchange i'm so close to 99 um i'm just gonna do some iron bars and uh yeah probably smith those until i finish 99 smithing it do be what it do be i want to get it done bro what are the the kids bro do you hear them maybe if i scream back at them they will stop as if i go like Aah! maybe it will work or what i got scammed i got nine bars what the fuck ladies and gentlemen we pushed through it with iron bars and there it is we made it okay it was slow it was painful but there it is 99 smithing the whole right side of the skills is now 99 the almost whole left side of the skills is now 99 i just have construction to go once the planks buy and hunter and rune crafting oi 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 that's gonna take forever right let's go ahead and max i guess Woo. All right, let's return back to construction and see if we can forcefully finish this 99. Once again, I'll be over buying planks just because I really want to have it done. Okay, okay, big level coming up. There it is. 96. Nice. Three more. There we go, 97 already. Let's get it. We almost got to 98, but not quite enough. Let's see if we can buy some more planks. Here it comes. Everybody stay calm. There it is. Boom. One more level to go. All right. It appears that we actually did it. Here we go. One more table and we are done with yet another 99 on the account. This one was pretty fast, but fairly expensive. Those are the stats right now. It appears that there's only Hunter and the Runecrafting left to go. It's looking really, really good. I'm very happy. Honestly, I thought this would take me much longer, but... But it's looking good. It's honestly looking good. I can't complain. I think I'll go on and do Hunter next. 
Oh, now they buy for 1,300 each. I paid 3,000 per log. I paid 3,000 per log and they were like 10k each. I'm gonna cry. I'm kidding. I'm not actually gonna cry. Okay, let's go do Hunter. Actually, no. Let's go buy a cape first. It's actually gonna be very, very helpful to have a, uh, a construction cape. It's unlimited teleported to houses and that should be very, very useful for us. So let's go ahead and grab that cape fast. Look at it. It's beautiful. There it is. Construction cape. If I put it right here, boom, teleport to POH, infinite teleports. It is beautiful. All right, lovely. Let's go and actually do Hunter now. All right, then let's quickly talk about Hunter. I ended the stream because it's going to be a little bit more dangerous to do. And we're actually going to start off by hunting green lizards in Canifus. In order to reach Canifus easier, I will create a Karil portal in my house that's going to teleport me straight to Canifus. Now, before I go through that, I'm going to grab more food just to be safe. There is a couple of escapes in Canifus that are very easy. For example, an agility shortcut. You also have a bank right near nearby. If I die, uh, I this time around don't lose my bank and instead I do have the guardian angel, skiller and elves so I am able to just comfortably train on the lizards. I don't know if I'll go on and move on to chins or not. I will guess I'll see how I feel like it. I'm camping p -neck so I don't get like one hit and uh, yeah, I'm gonna go at it see what happens. Wait, I caught one salamander and I got like how many levels? Like five levels maybe? What the hell? 59 hunter. I can now move on to red lizards. I will probably go there right now actually that is 60 hunter that is 63 hunter meaning if we now want we can go catch some red chinchompas up to 80 hunter it seems to be around honestly around 3 mil an hour to be honest just catching red sally so i'm not really in the rush to move anywhere else i don't really care about money so to say so i don't really feel the need to go to red chins or anything like that but let's say if i do get hit on this place i might just quickly swap places and go to red chin area honestly we'll see how things go basically Basically, but I just basically basically say basically a lot. All right It appears to me. I'm getting around 3 million XP per hour here I know earlier I said I wouldn't do chins, but you know what? I kind of changed my mind I kind of want to try chins and see what XP per hour like how much it differs You know am I getting more XP if I do chins? Am I getting less XP if I do chins? I just want to figure it out I want to see it and that's what I'm gonna go do I guess now. All right Yep, looks like it was a good option to come to chins now Let's actually see if I can maintain decent XP rates per hour 85 hunter all right this chin right here should be it there it is very cool 90 hunter nine more levels to go i'm trying to do all of this in one go i don't know how long this will take me probably like two hours of straight up tick manipulating clicking and i hope i don't get pk in that time we will see i've gotten five million hunter xp in a row oh never mind okay then i'm getting pk no way i died to that guy oh shit he didn't even bother okay weird champ it did cost me a few brudoses up to 95 hunter i'm actually doing all of this in one go we're up to 760 chins i think i'm like two ish hours away from 99 let's see yeah like uh, like two hours to not to 99 uh my hand hurts but i'm pushing through it fuck it i want to i want to be done with hunter today that's basically the idea so i only have room crafting left for tomorrow 96 slowly dying inside all right 97 i'm starting to see the light all right it's uh less than an hour and now to finish off the 99 also this is probably worth over 2 million that amount of chinchompas i didn't know they were this pricey uh, but 2 to 3 million just from chins very cool ladies and gentlemen 98 hunter one more level to go up to 1143 chins approximately 2.5 to 3 million in just cash right here very cool i think around 20 minutes and it will be done Nice. Honestly, I can't even believe it myself, but there it is. I decided to do basically three hours of intense clicking to finish off 99 Hunter. And with that, we now have only one skill left. My favorite skill in the game, rune crafting. But first, let me just see how much money I made. 1,298 red chins. If I buy one, they buy for 3.2k. Wow, wait, 3244. 3244. If these sell, I just made 4.2 million, which is basically almost a Zuriel staff, just to put it in perspective, from just my hunter. So I'm very happy with that. I'll obviously sell them over time, readjust the prices as needed. But for now, I think I deserve a bit of a break because tomorrow... 
We're doing rune crafting. Oh man. So this is basically how this looks like. I'll go around the Arceus library. I will collect all the uh, the books that I can. There's 16 of them. And then I'll speak with these little dudes and get a bunch of experience tomes. And that's all there is to it. That's gonna be my rune crafting method. We're starting at 49 and uh, this will take me a while. But luckily rune light is broken so you can kind of just go around and uh, see exactly which ones you need. Very cool. Okay, so now let's say I have a full inventory, right? You right click help and he immediately finds uh, like we already have the book and then you can go to a different one and ask for a book again and if I already have it, boom. And then I can go to a different one and basically when I'm out of books or when I don't have one, oh, it even shows you where to run. That is very, very strong. That's very, very OP. Look, it shows me exactly where to go. It's gonna be on the third floor. And while I'm running, boom, runecrafting XP, 5,000. Boom, runecrafting XP, 6,000. Up to 50 runecrafting just like that. Boom, it shows me exactly where to go for that book. And on the way there, I pick that book and all the other books that are also on the way. And that should be pretty fast runecrafting XP. Oh my god, there's a PKer there. Holy shit. That is unfortunate. I guess I do more tomorrow. Alright, alright, I've gotten into it for a little bit. I've been doing it for, you know, let's say like 30 minutes. We're up to 69, obviously, runecrafting. Uh, the first thing I'd like to say is uh, this fucking sucks. Like, uh, honestly, I hate this, but... I think it's gonna be doable, okay? I might have to do this for like 8 hours or something. Now, luckily, the higher the level, the more XP I get. Another thing, if you do this yourself, and it, there's an option where you don't need the Guardian Angel equipped. Obviously, I need it, because otherwise I lose too much shit. Um, I would recommend you to grab a Sigil of Supreme Stamina, because it is so much better here. Because you will... Basically, you won't need to use Stamina Potions. But what I do is I just grab like 3 Stam Potions, and then when I'm in the center, like you just saw, I teleport the house. Here I'm ready to teleport if there's a PKR outside. And uh, this way I can get my run energy uh, back up every now and again. Right, I'll update you every 10, every 5 level. We'll see how it goes. Alright, that should do it. Boom, bam, and we are 70 rune crafting. Very cool. If I had one sub for every time I click the book, I would be on 100k subscribers right now. But anyways, please, if you're not subscribed, check below the video and, and subscribe, okay? You can actually be the reason I reach 100,000 subscribers. At the moment of recording this clip, we are sitting on 99,800 and 75. All right, this is going to be level 80 room crafting, and it's getting faster and faster, obviously, with every level you get, because uh, you get more XP per book the higher your level. So now I'm getting 9.6k XP drops, which is pretty damn solid, actually. So my motivation right now to max is obviously at the all-time high. I feel like I'm getting fairly close, still probably like five hours away, but, uh, you know, the, the motivation is there. Bro, this room crafting is so bad! I hate it! Yeah, but it fucking sucks. Cock! I hate room crafting! I hate it! <laughs> Why do I hate room crafting? Fuck room crafting! Fuck it. <laughs> what is wrong with us, honestly? Ladies and gentlemen, 85 room crafting. I'm starting to lose my mind. But you know what? It is what it is. We're now getting 10,000 XP drops, and that should help a little bit. Oh, there's a PK here. <sighs> Okay, let's have a little bit of a break. Fighting a guy that I almost just killed. Yeah, he's, he's running because I took consistency. Oh, and now the other guy attacked me. They're like tag teaming me. That's hilarious. I'm okay. I'm just find them back a little bit. You know how it do be. I'm legit 1v3. They can't do anything. I have consistency in the other one. Oh, that was easy. The best number? Come on, just one more. We only need one more. We only need one more. We only need one more. Please, look, there's just one more. Wait, if I do this, I'm so gonna miss it. Oh, shit, wait for it. Wait, why is it there, but not here? <laughs> oh, no, we wait for it. The there it is. <laughs> Woo! Oh, my, yes, we got the number. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. Look, this is perfect. If I move this here... And then I move this here. Ooh. Ooh. Look at it. How beautiful does that look? I'm happy now. Now I can go to sleep. <laughs> Wait, there's one more thing. I'm so... I'm shaking. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. 
If I click this, does it show? It shows. Whoa! Oh, shit. <laughs> this is epic. No way. Look how good this looks. It's super good. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so happy right now. Hey, 101. Oh, shit. I'm getting a bit PK'd right now. Holy shit. All right, then this one should do it. There it is. 90 freaking rune crafting. Nine more levels to go. Can I do it? I think I can. Half an hour to the next one. I think I'll get like one more level today and I'll finish the rest of like eight tomorrow when I wake up. Uh, but for now, I'm keep at it. And so far I've had like three encounters with PKers. Uh, nothing too scary so far. Another PKer. Damn, I just wanna train, man. Fuck. Oh boy, there it is. 95 rune crafting. Alright, only four more levels to go. Each level will take me a very long time, unfortunately. I'm getting around 1.5 mil XP an hour, and I don't think this is going to increase much more. So I'm thinking in about three hours of bookman mode, I should finally be done. Let's keep going. And that is 96 room crafting, about two more hours to go and I'll be done. One more level closer. There it is. That is 97. Two more levels to go. This is starting to really take forever. But yeah, just gotta keep going. We're basically almost done. All right, then. There it is. Just one more level to go. I'm pretty burnt at this point. But I mean, we're so close, right? We might as well just push through and finish it. Here it is. The last book we're gonna need for 99 rune crafting. I'm going to Grand Exchange and uh, let's get ready to max. I can't believe I actually did it. All right, let's make our way over to the max island before maxing. So we're chopping the tree, we're climbing over this. Actually, we're mining this rock slide. This is like the third time I'm doing this. I maxed in leagues, I maxed in main game, obviously. And then now we're maxing in deadman mode as well. Uh, I'm quite happy with this. I didn't think I would actually go through with it, but well, I did. Did I forget something? Nah, we good, all right. I actually thought I forgot something, but here we are, Max Island. Uh, but now before we claim our two Max Capes, let's first on actually get the 99 rune crafting as well. So there it is, 99 rune crafting. With that, we now achieved level 2277. Yet again, wow, in a temporary game mode that gets deleted in a couple of days. I decided to do it, and uh, now we need to find our way to get a Max Cape. Right, let's ask him what he has in his sack. And uh, can I have your cape, my buddy? And that should be pretty expensive, but let's pay him. And there it is, the max cape on deadman mode. Oh my god, it's actually true. It, it, I actually just did it, didn't I? This is crazy. Now, if you're interested in all the little details that you get uh, with DMM, you get like some special chats or whatnot, but there it is. If I get rid of the tile marker, we do look pretty damn good on the good old deadman mode. 99s in everything. But obviously, it wouldn't be a flex if I did didn't do this so in the finals I'm breeding therefore I want to be using a magic cape too and if I put it on a max cape it is a pretty expensive thing to do but I can combine them to create imbued Zamorak max cape look at this beautiful thing that's what we're using in the final and you know what since the max cape by itself is fairly useful I'm gonna buy a separate max cape as well just you know for the extra flex tossing away around 5 million for this pay the man and that's the second max cape. Let's go to the GE. Let's flex it around a little bit. I'm also gonna grab some of the good gear that I got. And I am a happy gamer. So here we are at the end of the video. Flexing our max cape as it should be done. And there are a couple of extra things I'll have to do in the next video. But I'm basically prepared for the 1v1s. I'm still going to try and make more money though. And I'm still gonna try to get some swaps in to make more money 07. But when it comes to the actual deadman mode... This is it. This is as much as you can really do when it comes to like not PKing, right? So we maxed the account, got basically best in slot gear for everything. I'll be showcasing all the gear, all the bank, everything I've achieved in the following video most likely. But I really do hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave a like and also a huge shout out to all of you guys for 100,000 subscribers. It is the milestone that I never expected to reach. 
and now I have it and I don't know what to do with it okay I'm waiting for 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 the for I'm waiting for YouTube to allow me to apply for the play button for the little for the little check mark you know all the all the flex stuff that you get with YouTube and reaching 100k subs I'm really excited for that when that happens but anyway it's gonna stop rambling now there's still gonna be more deadman mode videos coming but it's mainly gonna focus around actually improving my skill for the 1v1s and also swapping and also making money to swap 407 and make some bank there I really hope you guys did enjoy today's video and I'll see you around very very soon have a good one and bye bye